um, I just set up my virtual environment and right now I'm going to install scikit-learn to use machine learning in Python's virtual environment. So first of all, let's open command prompt. Let's turn on my Chinese text editor. Let me navigate to my virtual environment. So this one is should be F drive because this is my laptop and this one is tray tray env scripts and let's activate my environment and let's check what packages i have it's a beautiful soup oh and i still get numpy yeah i need to uninstall this numpy so skip uninstall numpy okay enter then it will uninstall numpy do i need to proceed yes okay good so i don't have numpy right now so when you go check pip list you won't see numpy because i need to install that from crystal Gokis website so let's exit this one first deactivate my environment and then exit command prompt so Enter. let's download the two packages from crystal Gokis website right click navigate okay and let's go here crystal Gokke. G O H L K E. good enter and then you go to this package crystal Gokis python package let's press ctrl f to look for the package we are going to install is as scipy right this one scipy simply click it there we go before we download this one we need to install numpy mkl first go there numpy mkl left click it and then we come here and because we are using Python 3.6.2, so I'm going to download this one. You can just left click it and start download. Double click it, yes, here we go. And we can save the file. I'm going to save it to my download folder. It's going to take quite a while, yeah. Okay, good. We can see this one, the NumPy. And we're now going to install SciPy. Control F and just press SciPy. Should be here. Okay. SciPy. Yeah, this is the one. And again, I'm going to download the 64 bit version for CP Python 3.6 series. Just left click it. And then press OK. So it's going to wait. Oh, this time is very fast. 32 seconds left. All right. So we're done. Just before we pip install these two packages, we select these two and drag it to our virtual environment. Okay. Tray. And then. Tray env and the scripts folder. Control V. We just put it here because we have our pip inside the scripts folder. And we're going to pip install these two packages. Okay. Let's go. Close all the stuff and go back to command prompt. And then navigate to our environments folder f drive tray tray env scripts and then pip install the numpy first just num and then tap you see the file name this file name is the same as our file name our file name which is this one 
train env scripts here numpy okay so this is the one that we are going to use press enter oops enter and it's going to install the numpy and mkl yeah good okay and the next one is the scipy install scipy app okay and which is this one and press enter installing packages okay done and the next one is the scikit learn pip install sk learn enter all right good and then we can check if we have the package activate dot bat and then pip list and we can see scipy numpy mkl and scikit learn yeah scikit learn okay deactivate and then exit command prompt all right and i'm getting back let me close the script i'm um, in the folder let's open up so let's open sublime text and test our script just go to f and look for sublime text folder simply double click the execute file sublime text and we can start so we are on this test pandas.py you can feel free to save as a new python file or whatever but just before you before coding just go to tools build system and make sure you're taking the virtual environment that we just created in the previous video okay and right now let's try import oh excuse me i uh, just turn off the editor just control a we move everything and let's try import oh too bad import scikit learn import numpy import scipy if we don't receive error message here that means we can use scipy okay so you can start running the code by either hitting control b b for boy or go to tools b build control plus b okay just tools build press it Oops. How come? Control B. Yeah. Wow. You bet. So you see, it's okay. It's running in 0 0.5 seconds. So that means we can use all these packages that we just created. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.